In this random quotes project, we're going to be storing our quotes locally. And for the logic, we're going to be using only vanilla JavaScript. Over here, right, you can see that everything is working, right? So this is going to be our quote. This is going to be our author. And as we're clicking, obviously, the number is changing. And so is the actual value from our array. First right? things first, we obviously need to create our HTML and CSS structure. So therefore, over here, you can see that I have index HTML. Then I have over here main CSS, where we're going to have our styles. And this is going to be the script JS, right? So we're going to start with index HTML. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say that I would want a basic skeleton, right? So again, you can do the same that I'm doing in brackets or in your text server, you probably have the same option, right? So where you can get right away a basic skeleton for the HTML. And over here, we're going to say that this is going to be English. The title, we might as well going to say that this is going to be JS, which is going to stand for JavaScript, obviously, right? And then we're going to go over here in the body. And first, we're going to put our elements, right? So over here, what we're going to have, this is going to be div, and the class is going to be container, or here container. And you can see that I uh, forgot to actually use the Emmet, right? Then we're going to have a div that is going to be quote text, quote text, or here like this. And then within this div, we're going to have a heading one, which is going to have an ID of quote, or here like this, right? Then I press the tab, and over here I'm going to say that if if you, right, would like over here to read uh, a random quote, quote over here, over here, click the button, right? So this is going to be button below, right? So this is going to be our text. And then we're going to have a paragraph, which is going to have an ID of author. So I'm going to write over here paragraph, and this is going to be author, here like this. And then we're going to have a by coding addict in it, right? So here we're going to have a line, and then I'm going to say by coding addict over here like this. And then once this div is over, right? So once we have worked in this div, still in the container, we're going to add a button over here. We're going to say the button is going to have an ID, and we're going to say this is going to be BTN. Right, so very uh, naive, right, ID in a normal case. We obviously wouldn't use something like this, but because this uh, project is so small, we can do it like this over here. And I'm gonna say click here. And now what I would need to do is obviously link main CSS and JavaScript, right? So here I can write link, and I'm gonna say main CSS. And over here in the bottom of the body, I'm gonna say this is gonna be obviously script, and the source is gonna be script JS. So we're here, source script and script JS. So now that we're done with uh, the HTML, we can go actually go ahead and go to main CSS, right? So I'm going to go to main CSS and we're going to start applying rules, right? And the first one is going to be for the whole body. We're going to say over here, we're going to say background color over here, and we're going to say that this is going to be CE D0 CE. Right, so the kind of grayish one. Then we're going to have min height, and this is going to be 100 viewports. Then we're going to have a text align, and we're going to say this is center. And then we're going to have a padding, which is going to be 100 pixels. Right, and then after that, we're going to have a rule for the actual container. Container over here. And we're going to say that the background color is going to be actually white over here. And then we're going to have a width. And we're going to set it actually to 80 viewports over here like this. And then we're going to have a padding of 40 pixels. And then we're going to have a height. And the height is going to be 35 uh, viewports, right? So over here, height is going to be view height, something like this. So that one is going to be 35. And then we're going to have a border. And we're going to say border left. And this is going to be 3 pixels solid. And we're going to say this is going to be the orange one, one five f two zero five, right? So we're here. Then we're going to have a quote text over here. Quote. I'm going to say text, and the min height is going to be twenty, right? So we're going to say min height and twenty view height. So we're here like this. And then we're going to have a actual container and container heading one, right? So I'm going to write container and heading one. And over here, we're going to write that this is going to be font size 
over here and we're going to save 50 pixels and over here we're going to say this is going to be text align left text align not center we're going to say left over here and then we're going to have the actual paragraph over here like this and we're going to say container over here paragraph and over here we're going to have text transform property so we're going to say text transform and we're going to say capitalize then we're going to have a color and over here the color again is going to be c e d zero c e right so something like this then we're going to have a text align all right then we're going to have font style italic right style over here not stretch actually style we're going to say this is going to be italic and then let's actually create a little bit more room so we can work over here and once we have the italic then we're going to have font size 30 30 pixels over here like this and then then we have two more rules and this is going to be for the button right so over here i'm going to say button and over here i'm going to say margin margin top is going to be 30 30 pixels over here and then we're going to have a font size of 25 25 pixels and then we're going to have a padding of 10 pixels and 20 pixels and over here background color is going to be black so background color and over here is one nine one nine one seven one six right and then we're going to have a color and the color over here is going to be f f one five zero two five right and then we'll have text transform to uppercase text transform to uppercase all right so we're going to go over here and we're going to say uppercase and once we have a button now we need a button hover right so over here i'm going to write hover over here and i'm going to say this is going to be color and hashtag one nine one seven one six right and background color is going to be actually orange so here we're going to say the background color is over here hashtag f one five zero two five right and now we can actually save this and check it out what we have without any logic right so right now we only have the html and css so let's go to our file and let's open up our index html you can see the only thing we probably should fix over here right you can see that this button is not in our container and another thing we should change is actually a min height to 35 right so we're going to go back to container and we're going to give it a viewport of height of 55 right so if i refresh over here now we have 55 and now we're actually ready to go to our script js over here and start applying the line and once we are in our script js you can see over here that i already cheated a little bit right so you can see over here that i have a let variable and quotes and it's actually equal to array and the array has the objects and i'm actually going to be using a json syntax right just so we're getting used to the actually using json if let's say one day one day we're going to be using for the ajax right so over here you can see that for the value for the property and for the value over here is the quotes right and you can see the setup right again i'm not going to show you how i went each quote and got an on uh, online and over here paste copy and pasted right you can see over here this is going to be the quote this is going to be author and you can just pause the video and create your own quotes or actually just write over here hello world right just for training purposes right and over here i have 10 objects right 10 objects in this array so we go over here and then we're going to create a variables so i'm going to write over here and this is going to be variables and i'm going to say this is going to be constant and the constant first is going to be button and what we're going to be doing we're obviously going to be starting to target everything in the dom right so i'm going to say document over here and then once we have document i'm going to say get element by id and over here i'm going to say this is going to be btn like this and then i'm just going to copy this line and make three copies all right so one two and then over here this is going to be quote so i'm going to write quote and then this is going to be quote and you can see that i made a mistake over here this is obviously not a quotation mark this is actually semicolon or here like this once we have the button then we're going to do a quote for the second one and the last one is going to be author right so author 
over here and constant is also going to be author author over here so now we have our variables now let's add a event listener right so over here i'm going to say that this is going to be event listener over here listener you can see that i as always i have a problem with a spelling right so i'm going to say over here button and we're going to say add event listener and over here we're going to say that this is going to be click event and this is going to be a get quote function right so i'm going to over here i'm going to write get quote right so once we have this obviously now we would need to set our function right so over here over here i'm going to say get i'm sorry declaration right so we need to declare the function right so function and over here we're going to say get quote quote and then over here we're going to say that this is going to have no parameters and let's see again made a mistake trying to type too fast and this is what usually happens right and then we're going to have a random number but the, because the way i want to do it is once we press the button right any quote right we're, we're not going to be doing a for loop or nothing like that right we're not going to be looping through all of them i just want random quotes right so if i press the button one time there's going to be i don't know number two and then it's going to be number seven or something like that right and for that i'm going to use the random number so here i'm going to de declare a variable i'm going to say this is going to be number and this is going to be equal to a math floor you know, like this and then over here we're going to say that this is going to be a math random so i'm going to say math over here random random right and once we have the math random i actually want to multiply this right because as we know the math random is going to be between zero and uh, uh one right and we're going to multiply this by quotes length right so by our arrays length right and the idea over here is i'm using the math floor right so even though the quotes is length is equal to 10 right because we have 10 objects over here right because we're using the floor even this is 0 0.099 and this is going to be 9.9 .9, this is going to become 9 right so even though the length is 10 right but we can we know that for array this is going to start from 0 and this is going to be the 9 right the last one is going to be 9 but we're never going to be more than 9 because we're using the quotes length and we're using the math floor right so now, now that we have the number now actually let's say what we would want to do right so over here i'm going to say this is going to be quote right and i'm using this guy right the quote and what should quote have it should be inner html and over here i'm going to say that this is going to be first of all span right so over here i'm going to write that this is going to be span here like this span and then in the span i'm going to say that this is going to be a double quotation mark and I'm going to close it out, right? So I'm going to say this is going to be another span over here like this. And I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to say that this is going to be quotes and quotes, right? And then I'm going to say that this is going to be number, which is going to be our number that we are creating over here. And then I'm going to say that this is going to be quote right so i'm sorry for reusing quotes and quote and, and and i hope you're not gonna be confused but it just for me it was easier to make it this way right so here i'm gonna write another span right and we can just copy and paste this guy right we don't need to recreate reinvent the wheel right wheel wheel over here and now we have a span and we're going to say that this is going to be in our html right and for the author we're going to do very very similar right so you we can even copy this right so for the author again we're going to say the same thing author and we obviously understand we're targeting over here this constant and this one right because for the button we had a event listener right and here we're going to say that this is going to be two lines or two or three however you would want we can get rid of this span over here right and now what is going to be our variable our variable is going to be quotes number and here we're just going to say author right so very simple right and again this is the quote for the number let's say over here in the first case our number is going to come out like let's say i don't know eight nine right so for the nine what we're saying we want quotes nine and then we want the quote and for the next one we would want author right so very very straightforward so let's save this and let's actually go ahead and look what we have over here, right? You can see that everything is working, right? So this is going to be our quote. 
this is going to be author and as we're clicking obviously the number is changing and so is the actual value from our array right